Ladies and gentlemen, after many, many years of bad calls, making it about himself, baiting players and managers into spats, legendary and controversial and ineffective and incompetent, Major League Baseball umpire Angel Hernandez is retiring. Yeah. Angel Hernandez, via report from Bob Nightingale yesterday, ended up being right. Came out, released a statement, said, yes, I am indeed retiring. I am stepping away from Major League Baseball. He missed a big chunk of last season with a back injury. Has not actually umpired a game since a few weeks ago earlier in May. And so I don't know if this is health-related in any way. Jeff Passan actually wrote a story about this last night. And he said that they're basically that he reached an agreement to walk away, according to his sources. Mm. So this is a retirement, maybe, in air quotes. I don't care how we got here. The specifics don't really matter to me. The reaction on social media has been incredible and hilarious. We're losing, and that this is a loss for Major League Baseball in a lot of ways, our favorite foil. We are losing our favorite punching bag. This is by far the most popular, terrible umpire in the sport, and it will be a loss. Like I just lost the... 3% of my account on X was just reacting to whatever Angel Hernandez <laughs> had done in the last day or two. So I need to find new content. But Angel Hernandez has retired, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's so funny to me that there's an agreement. They said leave, and he said okay, so they agreed. Whatever the case, I hope he's healthy. I hope he's fine. Well, they've been saying to leave probably for a while. Yeah. He, he might have had to agree. And now he's like, look, I've been doing this for 33 years. He started in 19. 1991, by mm -hmm. the way, and it ain't getting any better. And he finally said, yeah, I'll go. He is and was comically bad. And the umpires union is so strong somehow, which is, boggles my mind, by the way. But Best they are. union ever. We should all be so lucky to have a group like that, that he's above reproach. It even happened in that lawsuit where Major League Baseball finally had to admit it, that he was terrible. Because they were being accused of something. Like it was, uh, I think it was a discrimination lawsuit that yeah, he brought. So let, let's get into yeah. this for a second. Cause this is, I think this is one of the things that rose his level of popularity. It kind of spiked with this and led to, I don't think a lot of people cared that much, but some, I think it drew their ire that it made him more of a target because it's like, no, stupid. How do you not understand that you're so bad at this? Angel Hernandez went after Major League Baseball with litigation, I believe a lawsuit, uh, where he said he had not had a chance to, to, uh, umpire in the World Series since 2005. And I believe this was in 17, so seven years ago, but 12 years after he had last uh, been an ump in the World Series. And he said it was, I, I believe, he, he claimed racism, essentially, that it was because he was a minority. And Major League Baseball had to come out and do what they never do, to your point, and say, no, 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 we're going to say the quiet part out loud. It's because he can't do this very well. It's because we, we appoint these posts in the postseason on merit and he should never be anywhere near a World Series game. In fact, Karsten Charles Sabathia, you know CeCe? Oh, of course, yeah. Longtime great pitcher. One of my favorite CeCe rants ever after a playoff start one time. Made very clear that he thought it was ridiculous that Angel Hernandez was umpiring in a playoff game. I do need to say this, though. I don't think Angel Hernandez should be umping uh, playoff games. He's absolutely terrible. He's terrible behind the plate today. He's terrible at first base. It's amazing that how he's getting a job to pitch and to play in these, to umpire in these in these playoff games. What did you, you say to him? Yeah. Well, this is a conversation for us, but he, he's, he shouldn't be anywhere near a playoff game. Is that sentiment shared by many of your everybody? Of you? Everybody. I think if you go ask them on the other side too. CC, was it was it strikes on tonight? Uh, it's always. Yeah. It's always. He's he's bad. I don't understand why he's doing these games. So funny. I don't understand. Why he's doing these games. This was a line in Passon's piece on ESPN, the, the best baseball writer in the country. With a penchant for bad calls during a 2018 playoff game, he had three calls reversed by replay in the first four innings. Hernandez received a disproportionate amount of odium from fans. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> the problem is umpiring is so hard. Yes. And most of them are really, really good. Some of them are really, really bad. But either there are no ramifications for being bad or it doesn't seem like there is publicly to those of us who can't tell when a guy is suspended or told to take a vacation or, in this case, 
potentially told to retire. And so, you know, there's no real re, in, you know, recall or, or reprimands for these guys being as bad as Hernandez is. But also, he was so abrasive and runs so hot. Well, yeah, he's so angry. That's the part that I can't stand more than anything else, right? Is, you know, whether it's uh, CB Buckner, Laz Diaz, uh, uh, Angel Hernandez, Joe West back in the day, John Hirschbeck, Brian O'Nora, Hunter Wendell, that you know all these guys and you shouldn't. You shouldn't know them, right? But it's the the world's wrong, and I'm right. How many times does that have to happen before there's any introspection? When you call a ball that's six inches outside at this level, when millions of dollars are on the line, and you get indignant that someone would question you, right? Like you you think every time they're wrong and you're the, you're the right one. Where's the sense of pride? Where's the, where's the sense of duty to try to get better at it? And instead, you're just running people. That's enough out of you. It's enough out of you. And this ultimate hammer of being able to throw somebody out of the game. It's been a joke for so long. I normally, if all things were equal, if these umpires didn't have these egos, the again, think, think of the John Hirschbeck scene at Nationals Park, walking down the third baseline with his arms out, challenging Bryce Harper to something. Who knows what his intentions were, honestly. If you didn't have that stuff, Joe West, and I, I mentioned some of the other guys that are hotheads, if you didn't have them, I probably wouldn't be in favor of the of the electronic strike zone. I wouldn't be in favor of just using computers to, to replace them. But I am because they're horses' asses. I'm sorry. Not a single person in the history of mankind, except for one really weird kid that also wants to be an umpire uh, before his baseball career is over, has ever come to see you. Not one person. But they do the umpire show. Enough. Well, Go away. I mean... There's so many great things on social media. The internet is so undefeated in moments like this that I've enjoyed. One one person tweeted, they're like, everyone's going in on Angel Hernandez. I haven't seen one person say anything positive. So I actually wanted to really quickly show some of the best calls mm -hmm. of his career. And then there was nothing on the thread after that. Well, hold on. I, this I, concludes the thread. So that's funny. The other one that I loved was someone said, like, I just tracked down the contract that he signed to, you know, for his uh, severance uh -huh. or whatever. And it was like his signature way off of the line, way far away. He just missed it. Because he couldn't see the line or whatever. So many good things. There's so many great bits where it's like he, you know, they, they tried to call to tell him he was doing the World Series, but he missed the call. Like that sort of shtick is everywhere. Well, how about and, the and picture that so. everyone has of like the 11 missed calls from Angel Hernandez? Uh, everyone was sending me on. I got like six of those sitting in my Instagram DMs right now over at Grand H. Paulson. But everyone's having a good time. And, and you think back, some of the more memorable outbursts, whether it's Kyle Schwarber losing his absolute mind mm -hmm. when he was with the Phillies last year when Hernandez rung him up on a pitch off the plate. Wyatt Langford this year struck out on three pitches, 86, 85, and then a, another off-speed 86 that were all like six inches off the plate yep. away. Not one of them was near the plate, and the rookie on three pitches struck out. And to his credit, and, and this is what I don't get about baseball players, a lot of them just kind of were like, whatever. He just like turned around, walked back, didn't say a word. I would have... You got to say something. I mean, you just screwed me three times in a row, Angel. But there are so many great moments like that um, where <laughs> it's just Angel. You know, Bryce Harper and him have gotten into it. Uh, Harper who's like got twice as many ejections as any other active player right now, by the way, in Major League Baseball. Uh, like he, he, he had this one where he was running down from home plate, like toward third base on a check swing. He's like, that's terrible. You're terrible. And someone had to come stop him at the bag. I'm an angel. We're ready to go nose to nose. It's just known. It, it, every player, every coach, every executive, they talk about this. It's it's funny. But he retired. I, I will actually miss him in a way. Mm. Because while, trust me, the goal should be to get these calls right and to not have the turn in the, in the fun of the, the baseball punch bowl, man, is he a nice foil. Like, just the shtick was good. It was comical. To, you saw a terrible call. You didn't yet know who's behind the play. You guessed. You get to play Angel or not Angel. And now the fight begins between Laz Diaz, uh, maybe C.B. Buckner. Buckner's zone is, I mean, it is a floating. Who gets to be the face ephemeral of that firing now? The, 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 you got to scratch and claw for it. Yeah, so there's no Joe West anymore. Hirschbeck retired. Well, Angel right? took over for Joe West. Yeah. Joe West was by far the most hated umpire in baseball. Because I think West was probably okay in terms of being an umpire, but he's like, anybody sneezes, he's like in your face, like spitting and angry he was tossing the, guys. definitely the guy that yeah. liked to mix it up the most, which is one of my biggest gripes with umpires.
Ryan, I know you're a big umpire guy, and I know you love Angel Hernandez. You okay today? Tough. Well, I mean, I, I am an umpire guy. Mm. I can recognize one thing that Angel Hernandez was awful. Now, one thing that I will contest with you is Joe West was actually pretty good. I never said he wasn't good. He, he was the most hated umpire. He was. Uh, because he would get into fights. Like, Joe, the, the idea, in my opinion, umpire should be trying to de-escalate things. Mm -hmm. He liked to ratchet everything up. So, like, in other words, if he makes a bad call off the plate away, and he hears you go, is that as far out as it's going to go? That's normal. Like, Jesse Winker does that on every called strike ever, right? He'll turn around and he'll so ask is that the, the top, umpire. or is that as far out? Yeah. Joe West doesn't have that. You know, he'd be like, I'll call the game. You just play baseball, boy. And it, like so much of that. I know, but it's just his bit, though, is great. Like, I, I love Joe West. I think <laughs> Joe West was a good umpire. And if you look at them, be umpire scorecards, he did his part. He did. Angel Hernandez, on the other hand, he was terrible. He had to go. So this is a good day for my, yeah, my I, understanding. I don't think you would, if you're trying to coach up young umpires, mm -hmm. you don't want them to pattern their game after either of those two guys. Right. One guy missed every call and got mad. And exactly. The other guy just got mad. The other guy was just a combative, <laughs> abrasive fight picker. And no, nobody's trying to do that. Like it, you're, it, it, it is okay to miss calls. That's okay. You just kind of say, Hey man, my bad. Tap your chest or whatever. Or you could just try to fight them and throw them out. <laughs> different, different ways. To do <laughs> different it. ways. Who's the guy? Why am I blanking on his name? The, 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 the umpire that everybody loves who, who blew the Andres Galarraga, no hitter. Jim Joyce. Jim Joyce. Yeah. Like, Somehow, Jim Joyce, you know, whether he misses one or, or or otherwise, like, is a human being. Yeah. You know, and, like, nobody hates the guy. In fact, everyone celebrates him because he, like, was in tears because he took a no-hitter away from somebody, you know? Probably more of those guys than not. Yeah. I've told you this story before. I believe Will Little. I'd be curious. Ryan, we, and we don't need to go through this on the air. But if you don't mind finding his ump scorecard this year, because I want to know if Will Little's any good. But my wife and I, get married in February of 2017 and then go on a honeymoon to St. Lucia. And we were at the bar at the resort in St. Lucia and we meet Will Little's parents. And he had just thrown out, I think Manny Machado a couple days before that. <laughs> and I was like going in on him and they're like, Oh, our son is Will Little. You know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, no way. way. And the guy like got my information and sent us a bobblehead or whatever. Really, really nice guy. But I always now, whenever he's up, and I always tell Allison, look, it's Will Little. So I think he was on Hernandez's crew, by the way. I think it's Barksdale, Hernandez, Will Little, and, and Nick Lentz. Well, Angel Hernandez wasn't the crew chief. That's Barksdale. Because Angel, uh, that's one of the reasons he sued Major League Baseball. Uh -huh. Was he wasn't a crew chief. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I, I, Will Little, I always kind of track. Because I'm like, I partied with your parents. I ate cookies next to your parents. St. Lucia at a uh, piano bar.